Introducing ColecoVision's first expansion module that lets you play all Atari 2600 compatible cartridges. And with all of ColecoVision's cartridges, that means you can play more games than any other video game system. It's simple. You can play Atari 2600 cartridges on ColecoVision, but you can't play ColecoVision on Atari. ColecoVision, the expandable video game home computer system. You are the player. Because your vision is our vision. The ColecoVision expansion module number one. Let you play all compatible Atari VCS cartridges on your ColecoVision game system. I remember seeing these on the shelves, you know, back then. And at the time, I already had a 2600. I wanted to get a ColecoVision. And I tried using the adage, Look, Ma, I can play all my 2600 games on the ColecoVision, so I can get a new console. I'll still have all my old games. That didn't work. But anyway, it's actually kind of cool when Coleco came out with this. It prompted a lawsuit, though, from Atari... Uh, when they did this, and fortunately, Coleco, you know, won the lawsuit. Yes, I know I failed to mention in the Coleco Gemini video I just did that Coleco had to pay a licensing fee to Atari to make this and also the Coleco Gemini. So actually, Atari won in the end because they were getting money from Coleco. So I, I sorry, I sorry, I, I missed that little detail. I should have mentioned in the last video. But anyway. Sorry being so generalistic in my video. I try to avoid that because this is usually what happens to me. But anyway, it was made with mainly off-the-shelf components, which is why Coleco won the lawsuit. Quote, won the lawsuit. Yes, I know. They paid royalties to Atari. But the one thing they couldn't get off the shelf was the proprietary TIA chip that the 2600 uses. So Coleco reversed engineered it. So it wasn't a full 100% off the shelf. Again, I'm sorry I didn't go into that much of detail on the Gemini video. I'm trying to cover. I'm trying to make up for it now in this one. But it's actually a cool little device. I think it's really neat. I got this one complete in the box. I don't remember where I picked it up from. I. I'm not 100% sure where I got it from, to tell you the truth. I've had it for quite a while. But it's really cool. And the way it works is, it's, it's almost like a standalone 2600, except it needs an RF signal out and a power supply. And it gets that from the ColecoVision. There's a little door in the front of the ColecoVision that you open up. It's called the expansion, expansion uh, port. And you would plug this into that expansion port, which would give it power and a path to the RF circuits on the ColecoVision, so everything would pass through the ColecoVision to your TV. You control the power of this with the main on-off switch on the ColecoVision. Kind of neat little device. This is what paved the way for the Coleco Gemini once this uh, became available and Coleco won the lawsuit. Quote. On the back of the box it shows it actually plugged into the ColecoVision here in the front. So it makes the ColecoVision a little bit bigger, takes up a little bit more room which is kind of neat. So let's take a look at what came in the box. So in the box, we got the instruction manual. Cool. It's blue, black, and white. The color of bruises. 1982 Coleco Industries. And basically shows how to hook it up. Here's where it's going into the front of the ColecoVision right there. Raise that little door. How to hook up your controllers. You can use the Coleco controllers on it if you want to, or any Atari 2600 compatible joystick works with it as well. Plus it works with paddle controllers and also the little driving controllers as well. Like I said, it's basically a 2600 uh, that's all self-contained that you just need the ColecoVision to power. How to put the cartridge in, how to start to play, how to take care of your game. For example, do not drop or bang the expansion module console or the hand controllers. Uh, yeah. Basically, you don't beat them up. Got some troubleshooting. And the consumer please note in the back. Awesome. Amsterdam, New York. So, take a look at the little, little, adaption, little adapter module itself. Here it is in its styrofoam sarcophagus. Oh, that looks cool. This one's actually in really good shape. So you got your little label across the top with that little metallic sheen to it. Got the cartridge port. Have our color black and white switch. Our difficulty switches A and B. The game select. And the game reset. 
And on the back you can see the plug that plugs into the front of the ColecoVision. It has a little RF ground right here as well. It helps with the uh, video signal, also ground some of the circuitry inside to keep uh, noise, noise levels down to give you a good clean picture. On the front we have the joystick ports and of course on the bottom we have the little name tag it says it's serial number A0172298 ColecoVision made in Amsterdam, New York. Awesome. So I think it's time to plug this into the old ColecoVision and we'll give some games a try using this. Pretty cool. Alright, got it plugged in. We're going to use the Atari Age Harmony Cart to play some games. Pretty cool. And I'm going to use my Blaster joystick. I love this joystick. It works really great for maze games. Anyway, we'll turn the unit on. Got our menu. Okay. Let's try. Let's see. Let's try. Do, 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 do. Let's do Berserk. So you can see it works fine with the Harmony cartridge. There we go. Oh, yeah. I love Berserk on the 2600. It's one of my favorite games. It's actually a really good arcade port. The one thing it's missing is speech. But otherwise, it's, oh, it's pretty much perfect in my eyes. Love this game. They did a really good job with it. So there's Berserk. Pretty cool. So let's reset the system. Let's do Space Invaders. Space Invaders. He's hooked, he's hooked, his brain is cooked. Oh, space Invaders. Almost there. Space, space, space invader. Boop. Right. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So I guess let's give a paddle game a try next. Reset. Plug in some paddle controllers. My handy dandy paddle controllers. Put those in. Okay, let's see now. Let's reset the system. And let's play. Let's play uh, Kaboom. Scroll up, scroll up. I gotta go to K's, dummy. Gotta go to K. Oh, missed it. Oh, come on, bird, boom, right? Oh, there. There we go. All right. Checkers. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it on that difficulty. No way. Awesome. Kaboom is one of those games that I can just play for hours and hours. Such a fun game. Activision did a really good job with this one. It gets kind of intense, though, pretty quickly. My reflexes aren't like they used to be. <laughs> pretty awesome. So, the ColecoVision Expansion Module Number 1, bringing your Atari 2600 games to the ColecoVision. So cool. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. You are the player, because your vision is our vision. The player.